And Adafi Owe and David Ajabo. Mariota to throw. Blitz pressure coming. Mariota is tripped up and taken down by Malik Harrison, who drops him back inside the 20 yard line. Trying to get the Eagles' offense off the field here on third down and 13 on the opening drive of preseason. Mariota flushed from the pocket. He wants to run. Crossing the 35 and lunges for a first down at the 40 yard line. And make a first down with his feet. Andre Swift bounces to the outside, and he's got room across midfield all the way down to the Ravens 40 yard line before he is taken down by Ardarius Washington. Penny in the backfield. Mariota keeps it. He goes around the left edge and lunges forward for a first down into the arms of Jaquan Amos. Ball is at the Ravens 27. Mariota hands it off. Rashad. Penny, not much there. Jake Elliott from 45. Kick on the way. It is long enough, and it is good. And Philadelphia strikes first. We expect to see a good deal of Melvin Gordon this preseason. It will be Keaton Mitchell with the return from the goal line. The rookie out of East Carolina. Looks for a gap at the 20-yard line. Breaks free across the 25 to the 30. That's your fault. On second and three. Penny will carry. This time stopped for no game. We head down to the field and Evan Washburn. Penalty gives the Ravens a fresh set of downs at their 47-yard line. Justice Hill looking for an opening. Bounces to the outside. He's got room. He's got Josh Johnson leading the block. Hill down the sideline. 20, 15, and he's pushed out of bounds there. But you want to keep possession of the ball to get the points. Blitz pressure coming. Johnson fires. End zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Devin Duvernay, and the Ravens have their first lead of the preseason. Nice back shoulder throw, Devin Duvernay getting a nice little step off. Off the line to the backside number, easy throw and catch. Josh Johnson delivers, 90 degrees or not. Bring the wig, bring the beads. New quarterback in for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he throws a strike to midfield. As Tanner McKee, 49-yard try for Jake Elliott. He missed from 46. This one has the distance, and he squeezes it inside the upright. And Gus Edwards getting a snap in the backfield. Josh Johnson throws, but it's not going to net much as Isaiah Likely is swarmed for a loss back to the 14-yard line. He'll lose three on the play. Called him with some plays. What's that like? It's great. You know, um, I, I don't... Like, the couple, last couple of weeks, I've been seeing him, like, plays and stuff. I've been seeing and he been putting them in practice, and they've been working. So it's like, man, I'm glad he listened to me, man. So sky's the limit right now. Trey Sermon gives the Eagles a first down on the outer edge of the Grillmates red zone. Tanner McKee to throw. Has some time. Back shoulder fade. He's got his man down to the two-yard line. And that's Tyree. He has to be able to look back and make a play on that football. Tanner McKee hands it off, turning to the one and in for the touchdown is Trey Sermon. And when you let a player named Trey Sermon push his way into the end zone, you can expect a Sermon when you get to the sideline. Josh Johnson has gone the whole first half, fires to the far sideline, broken up. He was looking for Tariq Black. Fourth down and a long one. The key of the play fake. Finds Ward wide open across the 40, and Ward will step out of bounds at midfield. Everybody has to rush up and clock the ball in the ground. The target is the Eagles 35. There's a completion to Charlie Kohler, and Kohler loses the ball along the sideline. Luckily for him, it trickles out of bounds at the 43. A 60-yard field goal try to close out the half. Tucker got the leg into it. It's long enough. It is good! <laughs> Justin Tucker from 60. And that brings us to halftime. And he brings the Ravens to a 13-10 deficit. Finished last season on the Chiefs practice squad. Didn't get any game action, but he did pick up a Super Bowl ring. Tyler Huntley will throw. Lofts it, he's got a man wide open. Vokalek, the tight end, makes the grab and tumbles into Philadelphia territory with a big first down. And goal. 
from the 10. Huntley fires back shoulder. It is caught. Tyler Wallace touchdown. Ravens. That was a great catch by Wallace. All hands, ball down and outside. Drive as he gets the Ravens back to the end zone and back in the lead. It's the Ravens by four, third quarter on the Ravens game day network. Early in camp. Yeah, I think it's a special. Um, you know, just the values that Coach Harbaugh instills in us every day. It's been a focused team. It's been a driven team. Um, you know, I think you can see, a, you know, just by this first drive and how, how the performance. How does that change things for you? It's huge. You know, these guys are in training camp are, are making play after play after play. So um, just, you know, defense is going to have to respect that. How would you describe the urgency you feel as, as we're still a few weeks away from week one, but obviously as you're building for um, yeah, like you said, there's a there's unfinished biz business on our, on our end. And you were a young kid, and now you're playing in the stadium, and you're making a sack and making a play like that. And that sack forces the Eagles to punt the ball. James Prochet fields it at the six. Prochet fumbles the ball, and the Eagles recover at the 14-yard line. A catastrophic mistake for James Prochet. Off the read option. McKee fires in the back of the end zone. It is caught, but out of bounds. Tumbling to the turf with the ball was not a. Tyler Huntley remains in at quarterback. So whatever the leg issue was, it's not enough to get him out of the game. He'll hand it off. You got to make sure you try to get your hands back off the field. Off the line or defense alignment's face mask. Oh, and Keaton Mitchell had nowhere to go on that delayed handoff. He's buried in the backfield. He'll lose five more. Eagles with a second down and ten. Back to the ground. Oh, the ball's in the Brooks loses the ball, and the Eagles say, or rather the Ravens say they've recovered, and they have. So the Ravens force their first turnover of the night to Eve and the Ledger. Ravens have a chance to extend their lead. 17-13, fourth quarter on the Ravens game, did it? On third down and two. Brown, quick release, incomplete. Justin Tucker, he hit in the first half from 60, from 43. No surprise, it's long enough. Even less surprise, it's good. Jordan Stout handling the kickoff duties now, high and over it. Will be brought out of the end zone two yards deep. Trey Sermon tumbles forward to the 28. We head down to the field and Evan Washburn. Ian Book on a third down. Blitz pressure coming. Book sidestep two sacks attempt. Still being tracked and finally dropped all the way back at the 28 yard line. Brown throws outside the numbers, but for a loss of one to James Prochet, who was taken down as soon as the ball arrived. But he'd love to be a backup, if not the Ravens, somewhere in the league. Brown throws decisively, but it's picked off on the far sideline, and it's going in for six. Dangerous picks that could tie this game up at 20. A 31-yard return for a touchdown, and the Eagles will go for two to try to regain the lead. So we were just talking about the importance of not making mistakes at quarterback. Anthony Brown, good protection, throws incomplete. It was almost picked off again. Rising and falling <laughs> rapidly because there's this yes, guy sucking some wind right now. Book under pressure, hit, and he escapes again! And he will get down to the 44-yard line, just about back to the line of script. The defense with a chance at a knockout shot. Book will throw, far sideline, incomplete! Darrell Worley had the coverage. He's not making the right reads, and some of the throws have been off, off target. And he'll run it here and pick up the first down as he slides down inside the 30-yard line. He can head to the locker room to celebrate the first victory of preseason. And that'll do it. 20-19, to 19, the Ravens defeat the Philadelphia Eagles for a 24th consecutive win. The difference in this game, a 60-yard field goal by Justin Tucker.